Hey guys, quick back to basics here. Let's talk about tryptophan operon. The crux of tryptophan operon lies in understanding the function of leader sequence and the phenomenon of transcription attenuation. The leader sequence has four sequences termed as sequence 1, sequence 2, sequence 3, and sequence 4. When the mRNA is formed, sequence 2 and 3 have complementary bases which results in formation of loop-like structure. The sequence 3 and sequence 4 also has complementary bases which can result in formation of loop-like structure. The binding between sequence 3 and sequence 4 is very strong due to the presence of many GC bonds, whereas the loop formed between sequence 2 and 3 have few GC bonds. The loop structure formed between sequence 3 and sequence 4 functions as a transcription termination loop. It halts the RNA polymerase and terminates the transcription. Remember, after sequence 4, there is a stretch of U. So, when the RNA polymerase halts due to the loop structure between sequence 3 and 4, the AU bonds between the template DNA and the newly formed RNA is weak. As a result, the RNA polymerase is released from the DNA and the process of transcription terminates. Now, before moving further, repeat this 10 times. It's the pairing between sequence 3 and 4 terminates the transcription. Ok, now let's see the phenomenon of regulation of tryptophan operon. The leader sequence is located between operator and genes of tryptophan operon which are trip A, trip B, trip C, trip D and trip E. These genes have a role in synthesis of enzymes required for the biosynthesis of tryptophan. The promoter is located upstream of the operator and besides all these genes, there is also a trip R gene that codes for trip repressor. When the tryptophan concentration in the cell is very high, the repressor binds tryptophan and blocks the transcription of genes required for the biosynthesis of tryptophan. When the tryptophan concentration in the cell is very low, the repressor fails to inhibit the transcription. As a result, the transcription is initiated by RNA polymerase. Now remember, in prokaryotes, the transcription and translation occur simultaneously. This means, as the RNA polymerase transcribes sequence 1, the ribosome will start translating sequence 1 to form protein. Now, the sequence 1 has two codons for tryptophan. This is where the tRNA carrying tryptophan will bind and tryptophan is incorporated into the peptide chain. However, because the tryptophan concentration in the cell is very low, the ribosome waits for the tRNA carrying tryptophan. The ribosome keeps waiting for the tRNA with tryptophan to come and the RNA polymerase continues the transcription. As soon as the RNA polymerase transcribes sequence 3, the sequence 2 and 3 forms a loop structure. Because sequence 2 and sequence 3 have already paired, the sequence 4 remains free. Now just recall what I told you to remember. It's the pairing between sequence 3 and 4 terminates the transcription. But in this case, the pairing is between sequence 2 and 3. As a result, the RNA polymerase continues the transcription of all the other genes of the operon. When the tRNA carrying tryptophan reaches the ribosome, 
the translation again starts. As all the genes are transcribed and translated, the enzyme required for the biosynthesis of tryptophan are synthesized. Now, as the tryptophan is synthesized, its concentration in the cell increases. And as the concentration increases, the cell needs to stop the transcription of tryptophan operon. When the tryptophan concentration is high, the tRNA charged with tryptophan are easily available. As a result, the ribosome doesn't pause at sequence 1. As the ribosome continues the translation, it reaches sequence 2. And as the sequence 2 is occupied, it cannot pair with sequence 3. When the ribosome is busy translating sequence 2, the RNA polymerase transcribes sequence 4. As a result, sequence 3 and 4 forms a loop structure. The loop formed by sequence 3 and 4 is also known as transcription termination loop. As a result, the RNA and RNA polymerase is detached and the transcription terminates. Thus, when the concentration of tryptophan in the cell is high, the transcription of tryptophan operon pauses and the phenomenon by which the loop formation between sequence 3 and 4 pauses the transcription is called transcription attenuation. In other words, transcription attenuation can also be defined as premature termination of transcription.